Hey guys, it's Amy. Today I have another exciting unboxing for you guys. It is a Gucci item and it came in this small box. Really beautiful magnetic box and it says matches fashion. Um, I really love these boxes. As you can see, it is a small item. It does come in a dust bag. No, it doesn't come with the original Gucci boxes, which I'm okay with because I honestly have too many boxes and shopping bags from all my previous purchases, uh, not necessarily from Gucci. So I really don't mind that it doesn't come with the original box. I still do get the Matches Fashion box anyway, so it's kind of the same to me anyway. So it comes in a small dust bag like this and a tag. Uh, this is actually just a matches fashion tag that's attached to the dust bag. So yes, this is the Gucci Marmont GG belt. This is the thicker version, the female thicker version, which is 1.5 inches in width. And I got it in this brown leather, which is more vintage-y. It kind of has this raw edge unfinished. And I think over time it will patina even more. And I think it looks so gorgeous. I think on camera it's actually showing up a little brighter but it actually is more is a lot darker and also the edges are darker from the patina the closure it loops outside of the belt whereas my uh, Hermes and Louis Vuitton one they actually hide inside I'll do a small comparison of all my belts so that you guys know exactly what I mean uh, and maybe how to choose your next one if you are on the hunt also for a Gucci Marmont belt the reason why I bought it from Matches Fashion, again, there's two folds. This is sold out everywhere, all the stores, all over Canada. I'm, sh I'm sure even worldwide, everybody is looking for one, especially in the very popular size. I did get mine in the size 75. I could also have sized up to an 80, but 75 for me works perfectly because basically uh, 75 means 75 centimeters. And the way you sort of measure it is, you see how there's five settings here. So from the middle one, all the way to the buckle, so the circumference of the middle setting, all the way to the end of the buckle, is 75 centimeters. And so you have slightly more settings to make it smaller or larger. And the distance between each setting is 2.5 centimeters. So basically this belt accommodates a waist of 70 centimeters to 80 centimeters which is perfect for me because on the smallest setting I can actually wear it on my waist and cinch in like a long cardigan or like a duster coat or even like a jacket or something like that uh, or, or even a dress which is really really nice and I'll show you guys mod shots of how I do it there are several ways where I figured that looks really nice and I'd like to share that with you guys and the largest hole allows me to wear my really low jeans I only really have one pair of jeans that are really low rise all my other ones are mid rise and I only have one pair of high rise, I think. In terms of material, they come in different types of material. I chose the one in the raw leather, as I have mentioned. And the buckle is the aged gold buckle. They do have a thinner version of this belt, which is half, half the width, I think, or two centimeters, basically. So this one is kind of double the width. And the buckle is obviously a lot smaller. And they do have a lot of men's version as well. So in the men's version, there is a four centimeter width, which is 1.5 inch. There is a three centimeter width, which is about an inch. Uh, and that's about it. But they do have gold buckle as well as the silver buckle. And I'm only talking about the Marmont GG line, not the, all the other kind of buckles. Um, there's also one version where there's a piece of leather on each end and then uh, the body of the belt is a web. But one of the main difference about the closure, this one, it actually loops outside of the belt, so you actually see the end of the belt, whereas uh, the LV one, as well as the uh, Mez one that I have, you won't see the end of the belt because it actually is hidden on the inside. I bought my LV and my Hermes one before this one, uh, and it's funny because I did consider this belt a while ago as well, not very seriously, but I did consider it because I do love wearing my belts with my jeans. Um, and one thing that I wasn't really attracted to at the time was that the this piece of leather sticks out, right? 
whereas the other ones it hides underneath the belt on the inside um, so at first I wasn't really keen on this feature but now I actually really love it and I'll show you exactly why when I model it because it actually gives you a lot more freedom in terms of styling and also I kind of just grew a liking to having it sticking out I think it's kind of cool and it definitely gives a more casual vibe as compared to the Hermes or the LV ones. These are my two other designer belts and uh, in case you guys haven't seen it, I've actually done a full review and comparison of these two a long time ago so I'll link that video below as well as up here for you guys to check it out. But basically I did a bunch of like how to style it with it and also just the differences between them. These two are reversible and I picked them to be reversible so that you kind of get two belts in one. Um, with this one, there is canvas and leather underneath. This is Safiano leather and this is just all leather, but it's a different color leather. I also kept the width of these two belts slimmer. Uh, for some reason, I just don't quite like the logos of the LV and H to be super big. They somehow feel overwhelming on my body frame and I just didn't like it. I just thought that they look a little bit better in this smaller sort of or more standard slimmer belt whereas for the Gigi I think because it is more on the casual side it actually looks really cool when it's this big so as you can see it's a pretty big difference this has such a cool factor with the thickness and the Gigi being rounded versus these ones to have a little bit more sharpness to them I'm talking with a buckle um, I just thought that the rounded feature looks really really good when it's big. In terms of price, the Gucci one is actually the most affordable which is kind of funny because this is such a big belt uh, and the thinner version of this is even cheaper. So I think for value and for a cool factor, the Gucci is actually such a great belt to get. Canadian dollars, this Gucci one retails for 505 this one, I think it's in the 600 something now. Um, I bought it when it was a little less. And this one uh, was in the 700 range and it probably also went up in price. So you can get an idea of the pricing. You can obviously look them up online. They're all available online. For me, these two belts are just slightly more dressy looking. Uh, even with the monogram, I just feel that the... I don't know, the letters, as I said, with the more sharper corners, they just look a little bit dressier and also the size because the width is smaller. For the Gucci one, I think one of the pros is the cool factor. It just looks so good and really dresses up any outfit, but you can literally dress it down like several notches and it still looks really cool. It just really makes an outfit. Any of these belts actually make an outfit. I also like that this one, the... Uh, I guess the end of the belt is actually on the outside which allows for more styling options. In terms of cons, there's not really that much for this belt except for this loop here. I do think that um, with women's jeans especially, I find that a lot of the belt loops on the jeans are so close to the buckle in the front. So you kind of have to move this loop here all the way to the front so you have this piece of leather that holds it in place or that holds it so that it doesn't get lost and it can kind of gets all dangled around on the inside it's okay it doesn't damage it or anything it just gets all wrinkly I obviously think that this belt is really well made and there's really no other cons other than that one the Hermes one I think the only con is the price because I think this Hermes belt is one of the highest quality one the leather is really really soft and very comfortable this is actually my most comfortable belt um, it's just the price is just really expensive. It almost doesn't feel like it's worth it. So you're obviously buying it for, you know, the luxury of having one. And also it does look really, really good and dressy. And also the other con is that um, the Hermes one only comes with three settings. So it only comes with three uh, holes. However, you do have the option of getting more holes punched. And Hermes will actually do it for you. You just need to bring it in. Um, so I do recommend the Hermes to be sized up because actually I forgot to tell you guys so for the Hermes and the Louis Vuitton I have them in size 80 whereas on my Gucci I have it in size 75 and the reason why I recommend sizing up for this one is because the last hole and the end of the belt is so close together 
if you were to try to punch one more hole on the outside, it kind of just doesn't look good. So with this, you can size up and just punch more holes on the inside. For me, the only con for this one is how stiff the material is. I think because this one is Safiano leather and canvas, and there's a lot of glazing, um, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel as comfortable. This one is obviously like, for me, this one is the stiffer of the, all the belts, even though this one was pretty stiff too when I first got it because it has so much leather, has so much material, and it's so thick. However, after trying it even after a few outfits, it starts to mold to your body because it is leather, so it does stretch out and it does sort of just mold to your body, essentially. Whereas this one, I don't feel that it really does mold to your body that easily because there's canvas material. You can't really punch more holes because the canvas material, once you punch holes, then they will not warranty it or they will not, um, they will not be able to fix cracked canvas if it does happen. In terms of hardware for these two, I chose them to be in the shiny brush material and just in different colors. So they do get scratched and they do show scratches. Whereas this one is the vintage age gold hardware. I don't have the belt long enough to know how well it wears. I would assume that it's okay. Um, I have seen some photos on forums that it can scratch pretty badly, so I guess it depends on how well you take care of your items too. In conclusion, before I get into all the styling and modeling footages, um, I don't know, I just, I love all of them, obviously, and I think at the moment I kind of prefer this one just because it's so cool and I don't know this leather even though it was so stiff when I first got it because it literally felt like dry cardboard but they do have other versions of leather too so this one is obviously the vintage one with the raw edges um, I just I don't know I just fell in love with it even just after trying with a couple outfits because it literally molds your body and it obviously will change the shape of the belt too because it will kind of curve to your body after a while and it just became so comfortable and I really love that this one is so versatile in terms of styling at the end of the day a belt is still an accessory whether it's a designer belt or not as long as it gives you a lot of options for styling for a fashionista like me that's pretty important so I do like that it's so cool and that you have so many options for styling and that this belt is also of all the ones that I showed you the most reasonable in pricing. Having said that, I still really do love these two belts. I think I love the Hermes one slightly more just because it's so much more comfortable because the leather is really good quality and it's very, very soft. Um, I have it in the Swift and the Epsom, by the way. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys ideas on how to style with this belt. Uh, you can just check out my old video for how to style with these two. This is what I was talking about in terms of this piece here hanging out uh, and then this loop getting way too close to the jean loop. So you have no choice but to push it all the way in and then whatever is dangling here you can just leave, leave as is or you have to kind of just fix it and then tuck it under the other side so it's kind of straight now. So now that that's out of the way, we can try to wear it. So you see how this this piece comes out? Well, the other two belt, this piece actually is tucked inside, which is actually easier to wear. So this belt is actually a little harder to wear because, um, I mean, it's not super hard, but it's just that because usually jeans, the loops here are so close to the buckle. I don't know, it's just my jeans maybe, I'm not sure, uh, that you kind of have to really try to get it in here. As you can see, this is the maximum that I can move the buckle towards that side uh, because it won't move any further. This this loop here is basically stuck on all the uh, the leather here. It can't really go further in uh, and, and my buckle is not 100% centered. But by the way, this is my top. It's super cute. I love the extra flowy material. I'm also going to style with these really beautiful shoes that I got from Zara a while ago. Uh, I have not shown them yet because I got them after I did my summer haul video, my summer pre-fall video. I'm going to do another one for, for the fall, so I'm going to feature these in there. But uh, yeah, red is the color of the season, and this is burgundy red, which is very wearable. 
um, and I think it complements the brown too. I mean, black would be fine. In fact, if this belt comes in a black color in my size, I'm gonna snatch it up as well. I think I'm gonna also style with my velvet bag, even though it's not the same color, but once I get a black version of this, I can style it with the same color uh, palette. And this is what it looks like. It's so cute. I really, really love it. Um, obviously, you don't have to wear this bag. I just have this bag because I also just revealed it recently, but it looks so good and it's so effortless and very cool, very chic. So this is a really cute flowy dress um, that just looks really interesting with different textures of the fabric itself. However, even though it is a fun dress, sometimes you just feel like it's just too overflowing and it's just too baggy in a sense almost and you just want to cinch it in. So the first way is to um, actually just wear it like this with this piece hanging out and it becomes a really really cute sort of statement piece. You know how some belts are actually made this way? The other way also is to actually tuck this one inside but you kind of fake it a little bit because obviously it's not made to be tucked inside but you can still wear it tucked in you just have to fix this piece that's hanging out and then with this loop you can also kind of just bring it in closer to make it look a little nicer sure it's not going through where it's supposed to go through, but that's okay, no one will see. There you go, that's the second way where you can wear your belt by faking it and then tucking it inside so that you don't see the end sticking out. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for dropping by and I hope that you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below and the notification bell to stay tuned to all my videos. I do upload several times per week, but uh, my first video is always on Monday. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye!